All right, we're onwards to the next episode. Let us just get going. I'm gonna go back to the retake replay world. I'm gonna actually rename this real quick. YouTube world. So yeah, we're gonna go back into it. <clears throat> we're gonna continue our challenge. <laughs> Is it a challenge? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna continue our challenge of going full modless. It's gonna be like a roguelite. If we die, we die. And we're gonna try our best to uh, survive. So yeah. Side note, I probably should do my laundry before I actually play. So I might pause real quick <laughs> so I can get to clean and do some chores. Because I need to be a responsible adult. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably do that. You won't see it in the video. I'm going to edit it out anyway. But <laughs> I need to do my laundry real quick. I don't even remember if we have like softener or not. Uh, so that's going to be one thing I need to think about. <laughs> This is also a very funny vignette, by the way. I love uh, <laughs> the pigs being so dramatic with Wolfgang on the top of it. I honestly don't know the reference. I feel like it's such a... Um, what is those kind of like art pieces back in the day? Like very old um, art pieces. I read about some of them with the Roman-esque uh, art book talking about many different uh, variations of how people make Roman-esque kind of art. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to pause real quick. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and unpause real quick. Whoops. Oh, I have a mod on. Whoops. Let me <laughs> disable that mod real quick. The challenge is no mods and only... Vanilla. So we'll do that real quick. My apologies. Okay. There we go. Full modless. Let's go. Lovely. Alright, sorry, I'm messing my phone as well. <laughs> what a great start to the episode. Also a great vignette. Getting to know Weber, our boy. Do you think his name was called Weber before he transformed into a spider? Or did he and the bug collectively decided, all right, since we're now like a half spider, half boy, we're going to call ourselves something new. We'll be called Weber. <laughs> all right. Well, they demolished that frog. I'm going to take this for free. Why not? Yeah, battle. Fight it out. I'll be more than happy to take all these food. Thank you very much. Also, since we have mushrooms nearby, I will definitely take the initiative to get all these food. Because if you're living in the wild, you know what? If there's something edible that you can turn at well, if it's, if there's food that you can turn edible, <laughs> it's probably a good idea to take it and like have it, you know? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still food. It's still food. All right, so what I should be doing, I'm going to leave up all of my other unnecessary things, such as the catcoon tail, um, the gear, which I'm thinking, how do I place? I can put down grass and twigs, so this is the beginning of my messiness, which is something I do a lot in a lot of different DST worlds, is where <laughs> I honestly just place a lot of garbage on the floor, which is not really the way I want to go, but I don't really have a choice as well, because I'm very, I'm very unorganized when it comes to, like, the game. I try my best to be organized, but it's really hard. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna keep on exploring. We're currently day nine in autumn. Uh, for the map that we uncovered, we got a pretty much 
like most of the areas unlocked. We just have this little bit here and here. And the swamp is going to be on the other side of the picking, it seems. So we have to walk all the way to get there. And then this should be a dud, I believe. There should be nothing over there. I'll take this. Thank you very much. You has meat? Yes. It's not for you, though. It's definitely for me. It's for my continued survival. For whatever reason, pigmen in this game do not starve. Oh, hold on. More gears. Oh, lovely. And also free meat. Don't hit me, alright? I'm just here to steal stuff. Oh my goodness, this is an actual, like, little section. This is kind of scary. I shouldn't be here, because this guy's going to start charging. A clockwork castle. Yeah. Alright, pal. I'm going to get on my merry way. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm going to go collect some more mushrooms. <laughs> but it's also one of the things I really do enjoy about the game, too, is that I don't necessarily need um, to focus on killing things. I could always just do the foraging part of the game that actually just feels very fun. Because at the end of the day, you have um, a lot of things to do. If you plan on doing, you know, playing in a long-term world, you have a lot of things to work towards. Personally for me, I have a lot of things that I like doing that it doesn't really lead me toward any closer towards the end goal for a lot of the um, tasks that we can be doing. <laughs> everything is, you know, everything is like, what's the word I'm using? Um, it's all up to you whether or not you want to do them. Um, there's a word for it. I'm completely blanking out about the word. <laughs> Optional. There you go. A lot of things are optional in the game. Obviously, there's some things that would just be forced onto you, such as deer club spawning on a set amount of days. Uh, Berger and all the other bosses would just spawn on those days, so that's something you can't um, avoid. However, uh, you are able to kind of avoid them, I guess, just by not acknowledging them and just leaving. <laughs> so that's a thing you can do. However, I do want to also like, be able to tackle some of those bosses eventually but the main fun for me in DSC is usually just foraging, gathering, building you know just making a nice little uh, farm area I don't know, maybe someday <laughs> in my life I'll probably have my own farm IRL I'll be growing fruits, vegetables I don't know <laughs> but maybe that's one of the appealing parts of the game as well for me besides the farming aspects I also love doing the fishings and stuff like that and now with Waker Bottom being uh, that strong having all of these new abilities to have fishing uh, fish schools actually spawn in thin air like in the ocean I mean um, it's pretty good it's pretty cool so I'm basically <laughs> reawakening my love for mega farming in DST which is great so that's what I plan on doing I do love farming a lot anyway but especially now since I'm doing it solo I probably have to focus on doing other things as well such as prepping more armors and weapons for potential battles. I definitely need to set up a pig farm so I can have hand bats. If I get to a point where I can actually get dark swords, I'll probably want to swap to dark swords. And the amazing thing about Wicker Bottom is that if you actually get to get to the if you get to the late game, you are pretty much set because you have all farming abilities in your disposal. Like you can create so much moon rocks due to the new Moonrock book. Well, not Moonrock book. What is it called? Lunar Grimoire, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, Lunar Grimoire. Um, with those things available, like, you can farm a lot of moon shards, uh, moon staffs, and all that. Pigs. Like, it's incredible. It just... <laughs> it swapped. It's... Okay. It was jumping, and then it, like, hit me. <laughs> due to the animation. <laughs> But it wasn't facing me. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, it's... DST has gotten to a point where it's gotten very, very different. But at the same time, it's gotten so much new content that... Even if I play this game for a long time, and I've been playing this game for four years, I think... I still haven't really fully gotten burned out by it. <laughs> like, even if I don't have as much time to play, I still, like, hop it back on just to, like, gather stuff. <laughs> and tend to my farm, and then just leave after that. 
It's just a weird. It's a weird thing for me. I don't know why. Come here, cat tune. Hello. This time we have the music on as well because um, the last time we didn't have it, and it felt oddly quiet. And I'm kind of worried also now that the music in the background might be overpowering the actual audio. So I'm going to have to double check. Let me see if that's actually the case. Maybe I can lower... Oh, probably not. I think it should be fine. Alright, let's see where I am. We can go to the left. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Peking real quick. I want to deposit some of my food. I do not want it to be rotting on my body since obviously Wicker Bottom does not enjoy rotting food, which I wouldn't either. But, you know, do what you gotta do. Okay, so I got some more catcoon tails. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit that in the chest. And probably leave some more stuff as well. I know I have something that I can leave. I'm gonna leave stack that, put that together so they're no longer taking up two spaces. Ooh, more seeds. I'm gonna definitely take that. And also, especially for seeds, I'm gonna be farming a lot later on once I get my books. <clears throat> if I have a good uh, selection of... Um, Books and all that, I'm definitely going to farm a lot. During winter as well, we're going to have um, pangles, and pangles would lead to having some jet feathers, and jet feathers means I'll get some feather pens. And feather pens is one of the main resources I require for new books, which is why I definitely want to do it, especially this too. I need a feather pencil for building a bookcase, which I'll need to do eventually. <clears throat> Alright, and we got the beef ne next to us as well, which is really good. We'll have free poop. Actually, now that I'm here, do I have enough twigs to make a... Oh, lovely, yeah. Thank you, Wicker, for being so smart. You can actually do some shaving right now. Which would be fundamental before our winter survival. We definitely want to have some form of clothing that keeps us warm during the winter. I might need to herd one of these bad boys out so I can actually kill one of them because I'll definitely need to have a horn if I want to have a beefalo hat. So, as every other DST player, I'm going to go ahead and bait one of these guys out. Then hopefully I get far enough where they do not aggro <laughs> when I'm trying to kill this one. Okay. And it's six hits in kite. You can probably sneak in one, it seems. But I want to play a little bit safe. And there we go. Do we have a horn? And no, we do not. And we're spawning Krampus as well. Which I guess it's okay due to the fact that we want a Krampus sack, but I highly doubt us killing one or two Krampuses at this early on would yield to anything <laughs> of that stature as well, because it is quite a rare drop. That 1% drop is no joke. Also, it'll probably be a good idea to work towards... Oh, they don't see me. That's good. Oh, okay, never mind. They see me. All right. All right. It's a joke. Especially at being that rare, it's really hard for... I mean, I think I've only gotten a Krampus sack the earliest first winter. But beyond that, I've never gotten that far. Oh, that lucky... Oh, there we go. And we got a beefalo horn, which means we can make ourselves a lovely beefalo hat. Which I believe, yep. As a, as a wicker bottom, you can just craft it, which is pretty good. It's nice to be smart. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got these things, I should probably go back to base and deposit some of these things. We do have one more day before Glomer spawns, and I would want to be there to gather it especially, because Glomer is pretty nice to have. And since we're getting pretty close to spawning in Krampus, let's might as well. Might as well just spawn one, if we can. We have been killing a lot of... Oh, I thought it spawned already. We have been killing a lot of uh, catcoons, which makes sense for us to be very naughty. I'm not sure how much we still need in order to get the uh, Krampus to spawn. But if we kill a catcoon... Oh, there it is. There's one catcoon right here. I'm sorry, catcoon. 
I do like catcoons a lot. They're one of the cute animals in the game. Which I do plan on getting a kitty kit because, you know what? Wickerbottom has a lot of cats in her lore, so we're gonna in honor for her. Get herself a cat. Now let's see if I can kill something else that can provide us naughtiness points. It'll probably be nice to also kill it here because we have a lot of pigs here, and pigs would aggro to any enemies, hostile enemies that are monsters. That's always a good idea. Use the uh, the surroundings as our benefit. There's another cat coming. I'm gonna go kill that. Hello. Okay, we're getting close. Is there anything I can kill? They'll just spawn right now. That'll make my life much easier. <laughs> Come on, butterfly should spawn. There's a flower here. Another flower there. There's a catcoon here. Let's kill the catcoon. There's two catcoons. I believe it spawned. Lovely. Yeah, do you see that pig trying to get it? Nice. Ooh. Ooh, shoot. That's a lot of damage. Lovely. Did we get a crap sack? <laughs> nope, we did not. I mean, it was it was definitely a uh, possibly if we could kill it and get a Krampus sack, but <clears throat> excuse me, we already we already knew it wasn't to be the case, but that's fine. <laughs> also, I took quite a beating there. Holy cow! So now that's definitely a sure sign that I got to work towards having um, some healing. <clears throat> And in terms of healing food, I'm have to think. What's the easiest healing food I can get right now? I could definitely work towards making jerky, because we have quite abundant amount of trees around us. Blue mushrooms could be a thing too. I know that we have uh, quite a bit of blue mushrooms around us. Oh, I, what am I doing? I gotta leave my stuff back in base. <laughs> Whoops. And tomorrow is gonna be day 11, so Glomer, I have to definitely remember that. I shouldn't travel too, too far while I'm uh, trying to... Oh, actually, I can make a Froggle Bunwitch. I believe Froggle Bunwitch gives 20 HP. If I had ice at my disposal, I can definitely make myself a... I can definitely make myself a thing as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. Leave that. Actually, no, I'll put this in because... The beefalo fur doesn't make... The beefalo wool doesn't make noise. Manure does. You can hear the sound of flies, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And I believe that should be most of the things I need. I can definitely go and uh, shave some more beefaloes to get some more fur. I'm going to go ahead and make a new spear as well because you know, my old one's going to break soon. If I do have more monster meat on me, I'll probably make a hand bat right away, but I do not. So I don't necessarily want to, um, you know go out of my way to kill some beefaloes, or some pigs, because their drops are not guaranteed, and for meat, monster meat's not really hard to come by. And look at all these seeds we're getting to. We're gonna have a lovely <laughs> garden. That'd be great. All I know is that by the time I get to the swamp, there's gonna be a lot of monster meat anyway. They love killing each other. The spiders and the tentacles and everything else, the berms, it's basically gonna be a food fest. <laughs> it's a buffet in the swamp. Swamp Buffet. Go ahead and grab that as well. I would always want more seeds. We're at 25, holy cow. That's really good. Alright, and I believe that's all we need for now. I'm gonna go ahead and heal as well. Yeah, we're pretty much full. <laughs> Since she's no longer 150, we're pretty much full. It's only 125 now, so... Ooh, and blue mushrooms too. Lovely. Exactly. What the doctored order. Let's go. <laughs> doctored? The doctor. <laughs> the doctor ordered. Alright, lovely. So let us go and harass the uh, beef flows real quick. Get some more fur. If we can make it. And then we'll be on our merry way. Do a little bit more exploring and then come back to the deciduous for the final preparations before our glomer spawns.
During full moon, I'd probably want to try and make a little pen as well, because I do want to have some pace I can kill. Oh no, my foods are turning stale. Okay, I think that's all I can get for now. I'm going to leave it here, because there's really no point of bringing, um, what is it called? The razor, since I don't really have any other uses besides shaving beefaloes for now. I'm trying to think if there's any other point for a razor. I think the barnacles require a razor for you to, excuse me, gather. <clears throat> So yeah, that's one of the options, I guess. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Okay. I thought she would have a different quote when she notices foods are going stale, but I guess she'll know when she eats it. <laughs> Which makes more sense. I don't think you can look at it. Well, unless it's molding. If it's literally molding, it's got to be very, very easy to spot <laughs> if food is uh, turning bad or not. But if it's not... Ooh, there we go. I would love to take that. Don't mind me. I'm just getting the monster meat. So. I need to be extra careful in the swamp because I've died a lot of times in the swamp. And I don't really want the run to end in day 11 because we barely got into the, uh, <laughs> the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of things I want to pursue in this world, so I do not want to die just yet. And look at these. That's why that's why I get baited a lot. They'll have reeds perfectly placed to tentacles. They would want to kill me. Absolutely insane. Charlie, you did it again. I'm not even sure if I can pronounce that. A group of Junkase? <laughs> Junkase? Gremoids? Oof. Cheeky bugger. Come on. Just give me the reed. And another one that's over there. Holy cow. Relentless. Absolutely brutal. Alright. Ah, come on. <laughs> Alright. I see it. Okay. Great. <clears throat> the scary part is that two hits from that, I'll pretty much be close to death. Which means I probably should have made myself a helmet. A football helmet. Just so I don't get one shot like, immediately. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm a little bit terrified, but you know. We do it for the content, I guess. <laughs> Again, early on, as a wicker bottom, I would love to get a lot of reeds for papyrus. I would definitely want to have a lot of books at my disposal because it would be so nice to uh, just have all those options, you know. So there's a spider egg here. I definitely should probably kill them, but you know, none of the most best areas right now, especially if I'm not really equipped <laughs> for the occasion. Oh, jeez. Alright. Cheeky bugger. Alright, uh, let's see here. I'm probably have to get going out to the swamp because it's about to be midday. <clears throat> well, it's over midday. It's pretty much getting close to uh, dusk. So we should probably head back. I'm going to do a quick 180. Get going. Obviously dilapidated. Yes, it is. I'm still being hopeful for a retrap. I mean, again, it's not necessary. Now that we've gotten, uh, you know, alternatives to reeds in the game due to the unnatural portal, um, we're pretty much set on making our own once we get to the Monkey Island, which would be pretty cool. I know it's called Monkey Island, <laughs> but I kind of just like calling it Monkey Island because it's just literally what it is. <laughs> the Monkey Island, you know. Ooh, make a mosquito. I'd love to get this mosquito sack, get some healing. 
be wary of the tentacles around us. This is a very dangerous part of Don't Starve Together in the Constants. We do not... Oh, let's go! And it's a full default world. We got a retrap. Yes, this is the run. I better not die in this world. <laughs> better not die. I haven't gotten anywhere yet. I would be so happy if I survived. Oh, we definitely want this. Can I make a... Oh, thank you. I can. I forgot I don't have my... Oh, I'm so used to using action mod. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm too used to it. All right. But that's why it's also very nice to try not using mods, because I've been really overly reliant on them in the past, and I don't want to be. I definitely need some silk as well, because I want to be able to make a bird trap. So I can actually work on making the lovely egg farm, and start actually getting some healing food up and going. Up and going, up and running. More or less the same, right? Okay, two silk. So is two silk enough for a bird trap? No, it's not. And no, it is not. Okay. Do we have any more spider eggs? I'm pretty sure there's more here. Yeah, I'm gonna go check. Oh, wait, 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 we gotta go back. We gotta go back. You see, I'm distracted. I gotta go back. Glomer, glomer, glomer. All right. I'm pretty sure we'll probably be able to make it if we get there in time. Obviously. Oh my god, I've I've just <laughs> made the stupidest statement. <laughs> we'll probably make it if we get there in time. Yes. Yes. That is accurate. <laughs> oh, this is bad too, actually. The pigs are out. And it's over. Oh no. If the pigs are out, it's going to be very hard for me to uh, get close. Also, can I still eat these meat balls? I don't know. I think I'll try later, but I'm a little bit worried that it won't work out. Hmm. I can drop this for now. I don't really need this. Okay, we're getting close to the village, which means... Because due to... Oh no, that's not good. Is that another one? Holy cow. I'm not sure if we'll make it. Oh, we can, probably. We just narrowly got him. Ah! Kevin, leave me alone! <laughs> It's so funny to me that, you know, the pigs have their own names. That's really cute. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also very funny. All right. He had a mole in him. Wow. Okay. Well, it had a mole in him. You know. All right. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to heal myself up with butterfly wings. Actually, I can make butter muffins, which is 20 health more than 8 health for the base butterfly itself, which is much better. But since I have the resources to do things now, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself proper armor because it's really scary without them. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make a thing as well. All right, moment of truth. Can I eat stale meatballs? Oh, it does? Okay, good. It helps. Ah, oh, that's good. It still works. Okay. Only when it turns spoiled am I no longer allowed to eat them. Gotcha. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> in this seed. This is mine. Okay. Since I do have meat now, I'm going to go ahead and feed the piggies. Monster meat, so I can go ahead and get some more pay skins. Tatham? That's a pretty cool name. 
Lovely. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. Because again, we do not want poop on the floor, so we have to compromise. I can't leave the pig skins on the ground as well because it's pig skins. Alright, I'm gonna have to find a way to relocate all of these piggies into a much better spot. I know it's probably a bad idea. We're literally basing next to a moose spawn, which I just realized, but you know what? It's a bad idea. <laughs> I was gonna find a workaround, but it's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a better location later on, but for now I'm just gonna leave it at that. We have to go back to the swamp real quick, um, do a little bit more of the explorations, we do see the no ideas here, so um, winter's just around the corner. And also in a couple more days, we're pretty much going to have the dogs spawn again soon. So we have to be wary about that. make some paper. So, what are the food... well, not foods. One of the books we can make early. We definitely want to make this. If I can definitely make a bookcase too, that'd be great because it can preserve my books, which would be nice. And I think there's still some more books we need to unlock via other means, so science machine and all that. To look into those. I'm really happy that I got to get the uh, glomer at least, which is nice. Over here. I can two-shot you guys now, so that's nice. Alright, we have enough uh, silk to make the trap. Oh, it's eight silk for that. Ooh, that looks really expensive. Hmm. Do you think there's anything beyond the swamp? Do you think we need to get- oh, there's fish. I definitely want to fish, though. Yeah, I don't think we need to get in there, you know? I kind of like my safety, <laughs> for now. Especially during the night, I do not want to be anywhere close to tentacles at night. Because that is a really easy way to die, even with a football helmet. So we're going to go ahead and keep on exploring outside of the swamp. We're still kind of hoping for a triple mac test because we haven't fully explored everything yet. But right now, since we're kind of geared up, we can actually start tackling some of the gear monsters, so the clockwork beasts and the sorts. And we shall see what else leads ahead. Definitely need to find a way to make a better renewable source of healing food. So pierogies it is. And later on, I definitely want to try and kill some tentacles because I want to make some tentacle books in order to do the Bee Queen fight. Since, you know, we are Wicker Bottom, we have the means to do so. We can definitely go for a tentacle trap for the Bee Queen. All I need to remember is just to be very, very careful because it is a very dangerous fight. And if I do die now, then <laughs> the run is pretty much dead. <laughs> and that'll be pretty sad because we haven't really gotten far enough either. But for me, honestly, I feel like all I need to do with Bee Queen is just kill her once. And that's pretty much enough for me. There we go. Do we have a skin? We do. Lovely. The first of many. Got to lessen up my inventory as well. I'm gonna have to drop this poop. I don't really need that much poop right now. We do have a little bit of poop already back in base, and since we're next to a beeflo herd, I don't think we'll ever be lacking in poop. So we should be fine. I will, however, get the seed. Um, I'm keeping on... I'm holding on to this freshwater fish right now because I do want to make either fish sticks or...
Okay, we got another seed. Oh. Not a seed, a skin. <laughs> they call tentacle spots? Yeah, tentacle spots. Ooh, I see you. Yeah! Kill him! Get him, mosquitoes! The only time I'll ever be happy to see mosquitoes. <laughs> Teamwork! Yes! And we got a tentacle spike as well. That's lovely. Alright, okay. They're changing their, tra tra their trajectory to me now. That's not good. I hate the sound mosquitoes, they're so noisy. Even in real life, I hate them. Oh my goodness. And hate is a strong word, and that's why I used it. <laughs> Any opportunity to get myself some more healing salves, I definitely would love to use them because I don't like my odds, especially being a character who can't heal by hitting things is really different enough. Um, so I definitely gotta make a habit of healing every now and again just so I know I won't die by accident. And also, I definitely need to have armor at all times because, you know, I don't have that natural defense up. Uh, the natural resilience that Wigfred has. So I know. I'm a complaining, I know. Oh, we gotta take out the bishop first. Let's go. Oh, and looky here, we found a thing. That's a really dangerous spot, by the way. I don't think I can get that very easily. I think the easiest way to do that is if I had, like, a pan flute or a sleeping thing. Yes, I'm not sure if I can probably kill them one by one. I, I know I can, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> right now, I have to be thinking a little bit more carefully. I'm not allowed to just go in and just do things without really thinking, because that's my usual go-to. But now, since I'm not the usual go-to character, I probably shouldn't. I'm on technical too. Okay. Tango spike. Lovely. Oh, Chester's here. That's actually really good. I really needed to have some inventory space right now. Thank you, bud. Look at our boy. How charming. <laughs> well, it's much appreciated. You can hold on to a lot of the things I do not need right now on hand. Tentacle spots as well. Thank you, pal. A big help. My spider senses are tingling. I'm scared. There's one here. Wow, we're not lucky with spots at all. We only have one out of all of that. Hey. I dare you. Ok, 
Okay. No spots as well. Wow, we are really unlucky. Let's go ahead and also unearth some of these graves, because... Oh, okay, perfect. I needed some red gems, because I eventually definitely want to make myself some backup plans, because I'm really worried that I'll just die by accident. So, if I can, hopefully, I would love to get some, uh... What is it called? Life-giving amulets, because that'll definitely help out the run. Immensely. Okay. We do have wildfires in this world, so I kind of need to get some gears. It is kind of necessary. Because eventually I'll definitely need to get myself some of the, um, what is it called? Flingomatics. Um, pressing around buttons, whoops. Not the most cleanest uh, fights I had, but you know what? It worked. It worked out, so it's fine. Oh, that's the uh, the set piece earlier. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and chop some trees because I do have my uh, axe on me, so that's good. Go ahead and shovel that up as well. What I need to do is I need to make myself a fireplace because I do have Juicy Berry Bush, and if I'm not correct, Juicy Berry Bush has properties that can actually give me health if I eat them when they're cooked. So I'm definitely going to do that. And it's also a very filling meal as well. To provide a good amount of hunger. And health. And now we're pretty good. Great, perfect. So, we are now in day thir 13. Um, let's see here. How long have we been playing for? 44 minutes? We can play for a little bit more. So right now on day 13, this is how much we uncovered. Quite a bit of stuff, which is pretty good. I'm always happy seeing how far we've gone. I think we're doing pretty good so far. We definitely got to find a way to get that, because I would definitely want to kill the High Terror. Especially having a hand bat. Yo, I would love to kill. <laughs> I would love to kill the uh, High Terror. I think I'll probably end around day 16, 17. I'm gonna have to go and get lunch. Um, but then after that, we'll see how much videos we've been making today. I'm happy that I had a day off today. Um, I usually didn't, I didn't really have a lot of day offs last, mo last month, which is July, 2022. Um, mainly because I'm just trying to work hard. <laughs> work harder. And now I kind of just want to be able to regulate myself and 
give myself a normal schedule to just rest when I need to, because I feel like if I'm pushing myself too much, it's probably not a very good idea, even though, you know, if I treat, if I, if I train myself properly, I probably can, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> Eventually we need to catch some rabbits as well, so I'm definitely have to remember there's rabbits in the... Um, I think we should have rabbits here too, the one near base, hopefully. Is we need to make ourselves a Prestahatitator, and then after that we need to find ourselves some living logs and make ourselves the final machine, which is the press, uh, Shadow Manipulator, which would be the highest tier of magic um, we need. So that'll be definitely needed. Also, our fish is gonna die soon, so we probably should bring this back home and make ourselves some food. Never gonna say no to free butterfly wings because you know our health is kind of low. I also want to have the habit of just pre-crafting a lot of different structures, like fireplaces fire pits, um, a science machine if I need to, um, some chests, lightning rods, like a lot of different things. I just want to have them pre-crafted on me. So when there's ever a need that arises that I need to just build something on the fly, I would have them versus fumbling around and not having the things I need when the time comes. I feel like that always happens too much, especially like during summer. When I need an endothermic pit or an endothermic uh, fireplace, I don't have them usually, <laughs> which is why that's most of my deaths during summer, if I'm not paying attention. So I definitely should be more wary about it. That being said, Wicker Bottom having her books um, to regulate her temperature is actually pretty good. However, I still have to be very, very diligent when it comes to all these things. Like playing solo in a survival world definitely gives you a little bit more um, of that mindfulness that you have to get that you have to have while you're playing and I need to like do that more often like I gotta be more concentrated more focused during it when I'm playing <laughs> which is gonna be hard because I'm easily distracted <laughs> but it's baby steps it's baby steps I'm thinking whether or not I want to raise a beefalo. It would be pretty nice to have a beefalo pal, huh? Have it right around with. That being said, we're kind of low on uh, pig meat, so I think what I want to focus on next is probably make myself a pig farm. Since we have a lot of the resources near base, we can actually just start using what we have there and work on that. Because, you know, it would be nice to start having some meat um, being a resource that I, that I can count on. Um, and farm. Because of how little options we have already. So I probably should do that. Like, monster meat's fine too. Like, I can rely on monster meat as well, but... It can only go so far in ingredients, because I definitely need large meat as well for other sorts of food. Well, I guess not necessarily. <laughs> okay, day 14. Surprisingly enough, I haven't spotted a totally normal tree just yet. Which will definitely put a hinder. It'll definitely hinder our goal of making a shadow manipulator pretty soon. However, I know we'll get there eventually. When we chop trees, eventually we'll have a tree guard anyway. <laughs> so uh, it's a matter of time, I guess. Okay, 
We're pretty close to just uncovering everything. I'm pretty sure once I get to here, this is just going to be a giant rock field. So I'm not sure if I really need to get in there to check, because it's honestly nothing really much there. However, I should try and uh, get my sanity low enough where I can start finding some shadow creatures, because I definitely want to get some of the, uh, the nightmare fuel. If not that, I have to go underground and kill them, but, you know, it's probably a safer idea just doing it above ground, huh? Okay, it's getting dark again. Go ahead and use our headlamp. Gotta take a swig of water. Always stay hydrated, alright? <clears throat> ah, alright. But anyway, lunch plans is gonna happen soon. I'm thinking what I want for lunch. <laughs> so I'm curious, here's my question for today. Are you a person who cooks at home more? Or do you prefer uh, eating out, like going out and getting delivery or ordering out for takeout or anything like that? Like, which spectrum are you in? Are you more so like a half and half? It just depends on your day. Either you feel motivated to cook today or you just feel like ordering something will be easier versus the whole task of cooking. Like which part of the spectrum are you guys in? <laughs> I feel like um, I haven't really gone into the gotten into the cooking uh, aspect just yet. I have cooked certain things before in my lifetime. <laughs> that sounds really bad. It just goes to show that I'm not a very big um, I'm not a very big cook, I guess, but I do spend time uh, looking up recipes and stuff like that for things I would love to try in the future. However, that's not necessarily, you know, something that I really fully strive on right now. Uh, so I am more so a person who just orders out, uh, but it really depends on the day, I guess. I can cook, like, very minimal things, especially because my arsenal of food options are not really that much right now. I feel like more so or not, it's either just um, cooking off a pack of, like, you know, instant noodles or something. <laughs> However, I'm pretty sure with certain foods, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that hard to cook. It should be easy. Also, is this a Mactus camp? Where are we right now? This could be a Mactus camp or it could be the Mandrake area, which I'm guessing might be the Mandrake area, which means we'll probably have some totally normal trees here which would be great i would love to get some of the totally normal trees yeah there's mandrakes here okay so this is the mandrake area i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go gather them right now i'm just gonna focus on getting the total normal trees if i can <clears throat> also pardon me i don't usually speak a lot <laughs> I don't usually talk a lot um, offline. Like, it really depends what I need to talk about. So whenever... I do notice this, too. Whenever I go for a long uh, tangent or talk for a long period of time, uh, my throat usually just gets... Um, like, it's not used to it, I guess. It's not used to speaking for a long amount of time. Um, like, my... I just usually, my, my, my throat just starts giving up, I guess. It starts getting a little bit more uh, raspy. I feel like there's a buildup inside my throat every time. <laughs> Which is kind of gross, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It definitely, uh, it definitely makes it very awkward. Because I guess it's one of those things where I should definitely train myself to be able to speak more. Um, on the internet, not IRL. <laughs> on the internet so like for podcasts one of those things i really want to try doing is probably making a podcast that people will be interested in listening to i feel like podcasts are something that i also enjoy uh listening to and involve uh you know list you know just revolving my heads on their headspace and what they're thinking about their topics and all that like i like to get myself wrapped around the topic that they talk about Especially more so or not, most of the podcasts I listen to are usually about video games. There was this one podcast that I heard um, a long, long time ago, actually. It's like a couple, probably seven, eight years ago. 
Maybe even more than that, actually. I was still in school uh, then. But uh, the podcast was basically called Team Workcast. Free promo. They have, I don't know if they've been making videos ever since. But um, they were a very... Oh, that's a good wormhole, actually. It leads very far away. Um, they were a very cool uh, group because they basically have uh, a bunch of four people. Four people playing video games together. And the game that they were playing is Monster Hunter. Uh, Portable 3rd, I believe. Actually, it's probably even Freedom Unite. But I think Portable 3rd was their main game that I got attracted watching because of how much content there was at the time. So Portable 3rd was one of the, uh, the games I really liked watching. Um, they had so much about it. A dog's just spawning. Good. Great. And it's also funny because a lot of the topics they talk about weren't necessarily about... Sometimes it wasn't really necessarily about the game. Which is definitely a fun thing. Because, you know, you get to know the uh, the content creator more. Just by their non-sequiturs and the things they talk about. Which is really, really interesting. And I really liked it. Which is why one of the things, I guess, for me, why I wanted to, like, you know, do a podcast too. Is because I feel like it's actually very engaging. It's a really, really engaging um, experience, I guess. A platform. Which I really enjoy. Also, guess what? I can make a kitty kit. <laughs> I can make a kitty kit. slightly worried, but I think I should be fine. I have armor and also log suit, so if I ever am in trouble, I can just pop on the log suit and fight. However, day 15, at least I think it should be fine. They don't have special variant dogs this early on. It usually is around like uh, the first day of winter. That's when we get a special variant. And last time I didn't even get dogs at all. Oh, my hand bad stale. It's four hits. That's not good. <laughs> Get his four hits. There we go. Okay. So, we're getting close to the point where we're gonna start getting insane. And by that, it means we're gonna start getting some nightmare fuel, which is nice. Okay. So, I think that's what I can do right now. In terms of sanity foods, I guess I can stop by the. You know, this, the cactus area, and get some sanity. However, I feel like I should probably just focus on getting some memory fuel, huh? Probably a good idea. Alright, I'm gonna go back. Um, probably gonna spend the night here, actually, before I go anywhere else. We're getting pretty close to going insane. It's inevitable. And also speaking of, when's the next full moon cycle? That's halfway, so I believe 31st. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and make some fences as well, just so we can start making the uh, the pen. Okay, we're finally going insane. Which means we'll finally start killing some nightmare. Unhand my fire. Get out of here. Leave, spirit. No! It took my fire. Hmm. So this is a problem. A lot of my food are turning bad. And it sucks because, you know... I don't have Bee Queen killed. <laughs> Which does mean I don't have, you know, the goods <laughs> to make uh, my food preserve longer. 
which sucks too. Oh no! Oh shoot. You hungry pigs. I forgot. Seeds are one of their diets as well. I gotta find a proper spot for this. Which means probably farther away from pigs. Get that. I don't think it should take too long before a bird gets caught in it, right? We'll just run around this area. There we go. Easy enough. Ooh, it auto resets too. Wow. They used to don't do that. I think they changed that. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. So before we go, I'm going to go ahead and feed this. Oh, I also realize pigs are here. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to hammer their houses and move them. I cannot have them nearby me. Mainly because, you know, they'll eat my food. <laughs> I like pigs generally. Just not when they're stealing <laughs> from me. Okay, so now that we got the goods, we can make some bacon and eggs. Lovely. Also, by the time I reach uh, spring, I probably should move, or winter, probably should move some either either farther in or probably somewhere like here instead. Yes, I cannot live next to a moose goose spawn. That's pretty much begging for death. <laughs> yes, I am not a pig. How did you figure that out? I don't really want to put, like, um, rock uh, materials on the floor, so like, you know, stone materials, minerals, because moles can take them. However, I don't really want to, like, you know, hold it around in Chester either. <laughs> it's quite the dilemma, I know. <laughs> Alright, we only have a little bit of days left. I'm going to go ahead and fully discover the rest, excuse me, of the area. Yes, I do want to also finish up my map real quick. Plus, I probably should make a new uh, hand bat soon as well. I think we spotted our first totally normal tree. Let's go. And there we go. First totally normal tree down, finally. And we can head on over and hopefully spot another one. And I think we did. Yes. <laughs> really good. I have to be aware of the evil flowers as well because our sanity is getting to a, the spawning threshold for our nightmares. Let's be careful. It is really easy to make a mistake in this game. So definitely should try and be careful. Also I should probably get some green mushrooms too. Some mandrakes here as well. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna turn left. I think we're gonna hit the quarry pretty soon, which means it's just gonna be a giant um, flat area <laughs> with rocks. I'm not sure if there's gonna be anything else beyond it because usually a quarry for me it never really leads to um, the triple mac tusk area. It's either gonna have a half point where it has a mac tusk on the side. And another point where it's just fully rock turf, like stone turf. So I'm not sure. I feel like, yeah, it's most definitely just a quarry. I highly doubt there anything else here. But still, since we're here, we're going to go ahead and check. Because that's our plan. Excavate. And hold on, maybe if we have a tall board fortress, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> Oops. 
Oops, that's the wrong button. I forgot. I accidentally hit the uh, window button by accident. Um, it is kind of funny that a lot of the things we kind of wanted in the world right now, we have. Besides a triple Mac Tusk, which is fine too. I don't really mind not having a triple Mac Tusk. I can live with that. But a reed trap is pretty nice already. And no remorse for stealing the child as well, because they're already dead. Uh, good old murder. In the game. Let's be clear, in the game. Okay, and we're also insane. There you go, easy enough. We definitely need to start, uh... Figuring out a better solution for our weapon and armor needs, so I might need to start gathering some of these rocks because I definitely want to have a proper pen area for the pigs. Uh, so I'll probably do that right now. I should probably plan these things ahead too, <laughs> so I know what I'm doing. But you know what? I'm more of a gorilla player. <laughs> I just go in. We're not really thinking much, so. Not the best way to do things, but you know. Sometimes I'm pretty okay with making plans. More so or not, I probably don't though. Also, I'm gonna preemptively make myself some of the endothermic stuff because it would be nice to definitely have um, the endothermic pits even beforehand, before summer comes. I find myself always mistakenly not having them on me, which sucks because it definitely leads to a lot of my deaths. And I don't think I want that right now. I don't think I do. <laughs> Thank you, pal. Also, since you are here, you can hold on to the things I'm not using right now. I have to make sure I can go to the uh, this thing soon. That thing. Because I definitely want to get my pet. Is it worth it getting the kitty kit over the lunar mothling? Since the mothling can't provide you with light. Probably not. Is it just as adorable as a lunar mothling? Even more so, I believe. I'm a very big cat person. Granted, I don't own cats IRL, but if I did, I'd be pretty happy about it, I guess. The only thing I tell myself about when it comes to animal raising is that if I ever do plan on adopting a cat, I would want to be sure that I'm ready to actually take care of another living being. <laughs> because I feel like if I can't really do that, then I'm pretty much, you know, not giving the cat a life it should have and it deserves, I guess. So, I don't think right now where I am right now in life, I don't think I'm ready for pets or anything like that. Which is why I'm not really in a hurry to like adopt a pet anytime soon. I'll probably take my time with it. <laughs> but also another question, what kind of pets do you guys have? I'm not sure if anybody would watch video at this point <laughs> it's a little long I do realize that a lot of my videos right now are kind of like you know an hour long so I might actually split this video in two um just so it's a like you know a little bite size every every time maybe I'm still thinking on how I want to format the uh, the whole series the plan is that I'll play until my character dies, and if I die, that's that's the whole series already. So this could be either a very long or a very short series. <laughs> but we'll see.
Okay. I'm going to go for a little bit more, and I think we're pretty much set on minerals for now. I feel like there's really no point, <clears throat> as of right now, to gather every single thing I see. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to focus on getting the right amount for the crafts I'm planning on building soon. And I feel like that should be more than enough to start going from there. <clears throat> so next up, I'm going to go head up to the uh, mosaic area. I'm going to go jump back to the wormhole and back to base. And I think I can start really putting down some groundwork and work on the base a little bit. Mainly the pig area, because I feel like getting myself the um, pig skins... Oh, jeez, this is next to the meteor site. Getting myself pig skins, like a good amount of pig skins every time. Oh, jeez, I can't speak. Having pig skins readily available is probably a good idea. Mainly for weapons and armor. Especially armor. <laughs> I can't rely on gold and rocks anymore. Plus, I feel like so far we've been doing pretty good. Pretty good. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but we've definitely been doing okay. Could I be doing better? Probably, but I think we're doing okay. Definitely need some more Plan Bs just in case. And by Plan Bs, I mean like heart. Uh, the uh, what is it called? Not the Telltale Heart. The um, Life Giving Amulet would probably be a very good Plan B. If I could get to a point where I can get meat effigies, probably a good plan B as well. So, lots of stuff I could be doing, but I'm not. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I'm sure of it. Oh, the spooky noises. I don't like it. Uh, it's so loud. I'm also... I, I still can't believe that this is natural. There's so many rocks here. And this one clumped up area. That's incredible. Oh, we passed it. Okay, bud. We're gonna get the fish sticks and the cattail. We're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a kitty kit. Hello, friend. Welcome to the team. You're so cute, you. <laughs> the kitty kit's really adorable. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. Our sanity's a little bit better now. Okay, so now that we got with that, we're gonna have to head back to the wormhole, which is this one right here. That'll lead us back straight to base. I think, actually, how far are we to base anyway? Oh yeah, we, we should definitely go to a wormhole. I was going to say I suggest we walk, but probably not a good idea just walking there. So probably not a good idea. I wonder if I can get in more green mushrooms too. That'd be really nice to have. Always nice to have sanity food. Oh, there we go. Since now we have more than seven, I believe. Nightmare fuel, that's just enough for the shadow manipulator. Um, so I can actually work towards doing the pre uh, machine, the station, before I do the ma manipulator. So I'm gonna get ready for that. But while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and cook our green mushroom. Have a nice meal. Get our sanity back to 84, and that's pretty good. Too. I'll take that. All I know is that if you cook blue mushrooms, it actually gives you sanity rather than... Yeah, it gives you sanity rather than health. But it lessens your health a little bit. Which is fine. It's not that much of a payoff. 
I guess we can chill here for a bit. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to renew my hand bat pretty soon, which means we gotta kill some piggies. I believe at this point, my hand bat will require three hits in order to kill a spider. So that kind of sucks, but you know, it's fine. Yes, as I predicted. Easy. Put some food in me. All right. So now we can head back to base. We're gonna go ahead and put some groundwork in soon. And I think. I think by the time we actually head back to base, I should probably call it. <laughs> we pretty much uh, beat the threshold of one hour. Let's go. I still think this world is pretty weird. <laughs> In a good way. Okay, it's that wormhole over there. Let's go. ourselves a little bit healthy. Got some gobblers. I think it's going to be a little bit difficult just relying on the juicy berries. However, since we are wicker bottom, I think it shouldn't be too, too bad. The only main payoff that I probably need to work on is getting Bee Queen all set it up because it would be so much more better to be able to preserve the berries versus needing to use them all at once. And also, since we don't like stale food, I think it would be nice to just have all my prepared meals just packed up <laughs> fresh. <laughs> so we have to definitely work on Bee Queen soon. And by soon, probably around winter or something. I don't know. It depends how much uh, we can get with the uh, the tentacle spots. We're not really that lucky. I think we only got one <laughs> out of all the fights that we did. A little bit disappointing, but you know what? That's life sometimes. You just got to accept it. Okay, let's go jump through. Look at all the beef though. We're so bountiful with meat and all other resources. So good. I love it. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Go ahead to base, and I think, yeah. I think that's a pretty good haul. We did pretty good today. Yeah. Incredibly sturdy. <laughs> wow. Gonna 
go ahead and make myself another armor. I think armor right now is going to be more important right now. Since I do have tentacle spikes and I don't really need to, you know, make another hand bat. I feel like the hand bats are very dependent on what I'm using it for. And as of right now, I don't really need it for anything specific. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good.